Welcome. Welcome to the fourth episode of The Resistance. My name is Count Maloney, or it's been Virginia, and I'm an anarchist. Today's episode is going to talk about pretty much how to, how to talk about anarchism to other people, how to, how to plant those seeds, how to uh, spread freedom in the community. I've been getting a lot of questions uh, lately about how to, how to approach uh, this very topic uh, with other people. Uh, with richer parents, uh, richer friends, uh, or even with even with strangers, right? So, and at the same time, how to how to start this, uh, like at your local university? I've been getting some of those too, and, and that's that's where I start. You know, I start at ECU. That's that's where I go on to talk. Um, but I'll I'll get into I guess the the method of the rhetoric, and I guess my way to talk about freedom to other people. And I'm not saying that. This is a method that you have to follow. This is a method that you have to use. Um, I mean, you can refine it. You find a method uh, that works better for you. You know, go for it. You know, and share that with me. You know, if you find uh, a better measure of success, you know, I, I love to hear. It. You know, let's share tactics. Let's share uh, strategies. You know, um, you know, think of this as a anarcho-capitalist uh, competition. You know, to see which uh, liberation group can free your respective communities first. Uh, I guess in that sense. So, with, with that in mind, uh, yeah, I mean, I've been getting a lot of questions about that lately. So, uh, so I'm going to start from, from the very beginning. If you want to, if you, if you want to spread this freedom movement in your community, uh, let's start off first with, with the freedom symbol. Uh, so, the freedom symbol that we have, the one that's on the home page, delivered at RBA, the, uh, the board cutters and the, uh, the olive branch. And so, the symbology behind it, the meaning behind it, of course, the old card is more representative of, um, you know, cutting those uh, bonds, those ideas, you know, culture, you know, breaking free from the culting culture, you know, breaking free from the idea that violence was so great. Um, and it's not really a tool that you can actually uh, hurt someone with. I mean, I mean, it's kind of an awkward thing, really, to swing around. Um, it's, it's to break those chains, break those bonds. You know, we're born with social security tax chained to the end of our feet now. You know, in you know, to, to break the bonds of statism, to break the bonds of, uh, of violence in our community. You know, not to state violence, but the violence for each other, the violence for each other. And of course, the, the olive branch is symbolic in that, and alone enough to represent the non aggression of the uh, people. You know, treat others as uh, you want them to, to treat you, you know, the way you want to be treated. Um, respect each other. That's, that's, that's pretty much, uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure if you're watching this, you understand the non aggression principle. Uh, so, that's, that's pretty much the symbol. I mean, the circle around it, that's, that's the moral line. That's the moral line that everyone in our community draws. That's the moral line that, that unites us um, with shared values for equality, for nonviolence, for freedom. You know, when you have an, an entire community united, you know, well, where are you going to go if you want to rest against any member of our community? You know, no one's going to house you, feed you, clothe you, uh, invite you to their home, smile at you. Uh, you know, they'll unfriend you on Facebook, uh, insurance companies, uh, your telephone company, your insurance, uh, your, uh, I guess your internet service provider will pay you $150 to break the contract and disconnect. You know, these, these are voluntary acts, these are voluntary services. You don't have to have any of this stuff. You know, you can be the richest man in the world, but if you want to, to violate the non-aggression principle, violate and aggress, a member of our community, you can have all the money in the world, but no one's going to sell you anything. You know, you'll, you'll live in a big house, a big, empty, cold house. That's it. No internet, no water, no, uh, no television, no, no, no phone, no, uh, no one. I mean, that's, that's, that's the risk, right? That's the, uh, I mean, I'm not saying that, uh, I mean, Kurtz is, is pretty much because if you break the contract that you have against the person that you aggress against, you know, if you're not going to uh, take the measures to amend uh, whatever mistake or whatever action she took, you know, if you want to escape and say, hey, you know, fuck this, I don't have to uh, do any of this stuff, you know, then give it a try. You know, <laughs> more like a, like a dare you to give it a try when it happens, you know? Because this speaks socially conscious of this. That is the most powerful weapon against anyone with the aggression. And when you have that moral line drawn, 
when everybody's throngs and more line together and say, you know what, enough is enough. Violence ends with all of us. Where are you gonna go? Are you gonna go to Rochester? Good luck. And the freedom movement's over there, over there too. Now that moral line will extend all the way to all the other communities, all across the country, and eventually all across the world. You know, it's not really much of a threat, really. I mean, it's, you'll find it's more beneficial, anyways. Um, <laughs> see, it's not rape, murder, steal, and assault. I mean, you can do anything else as long as it doesn't violate the non aggression principle, as long as there's, uh, there's consent, right? There's, there's choice on the use of consent. That's, that's, that's really it. I mean, that's, you can do anything you want. You know, you're your feet to be yourself. That's, that's where I want to be. That's where I want to head towards. And I, I want to be free of my lifetime. And I don't want my children to be born into stages. I don't want my children to be born and, and bonded to the genes of social security. You know, that's, that's not going to be for me. That's not going to be for my children. I don't want to be 80 years old still today. I don't want to be um, an image of some, some encyclopedia of what they look like in the 21st century, still so begging for the freedoms, and there's a picture of me. And I refuse to be a slave for the rest of my life. Got a little off the topic there. Um, so that's, uh, that's pretty much what the freedom symbol is all about. Uh, Anyone who values the non-aggression principle, anyone who values uh, equality, um, anyone who, uh, who is against both of you uh, can use this freedom symbol. Uh, just contact me, send me a message, and I'll create uh, a freedom symbol tailored to the name of your community. You know, RBA stands for Richmond, Virginia, so it's just liberate Richmond. Uh, so if you're ready to go there, you're ready to, to bring this in your own community, and I'm going to your campus, uh, let me know. I'll, I'll make a symbol for you. I'll tailor it to the name of your community. It's a, it's a symbol we all can kind of unite behind. You know, um, I mean, they're just symbols, really. They're just, uh, you know, they only have as much power as we give them. You know, they're mostly symbols like charms and uh, pendants are just really just reminders of what we already have in You know, we already practice the non aggression principle. You know, we already uh, don't use violence in our day to day lives to solve problems. Um, they're just reminders. You know, one day maybe when we're finally free and you know, all these symbols and all that stuff, we just go, we have no problem with that. You know, they're just, um, this is a way to, to unite, you know, to, to unite an African campus, to unite people who value equality, to unite people who, who are against violence. Um, that's just really it. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything more to that. Um, but yeah, so, uh, <laughs> so when you're ready from, for me to, to create the freedom, freedom symbol for you, um, just let me know. Sign the freedom petition, that's on the website too. The freedom petition pretty much assists to get the integrity, the courage, um, the will to, to go all the way, to go the distance, to take the non person where it's going to, you know, with, with no exceptions, right? Violence only begins violence, exceptions only create more exceptions. Um, and to have that moral integrity, to go the distance, to go all the way. And uh, if you feel you're ready, sign the freedom petition, send me a message, and uh, I'll, I'll uh, make a freedom symbol for you. Uh, no, so the, the freedom protection is kind of like, uh, the, think of it also as a, it's pretty much our way to say back to the government that uh, we're not going to participate in statism. We're not going to participate in, in the tools of statism, you know, fully. We're not, uh, we refuse to acknowledge uh, the authority or the legitimacy. Um, this is pretty much just a way to, pretty much to put a middle finger right back at them. So if you have, if you're ready to let go, if you're ready to let go of um, the idea that violence was set us free, to let go of voting, to if you're ready to do this, just let me know. Um, I, I, I foresee in less than a year there's going to be about 50 other freedom movements out there at the rate that this is going. So I mean, we can't do this alone, right? No one can do this alone. You know, it's only together. It's only when we're united that we can do this. It's only when we're finding a majority can we all together have the strength to unplug the matrix to end. Data is once and for all. Um, so yeah, check out the website. The Freedom Protection is there, and um, 
guess it might have any. Or so you can also look at it as, a, as an insurance policy, right? Um, like I signed it. So if I were to, for example, say, fuck this, I'm going to be a politician, you know, this isn't, you know, vote for me, I got away, you know, me, camel, and vote for cow. Um, I can contradict myself. I become a hypocrite because I signed that petition. Because I still have the integrity to go all the way. And I'm kind of reading. You know, it's kind of like, uh, now I kind of get kicked out of the movement, you know? Um, it's kind of, I guess, in the same way in Fight Club, where it's like, we need you to say that, you know? We got to get your balls. Um, it's, uh, it's a way to kind of prevent that. It's kind of, I guess, an insurance policy. Uh, so it's just, uh, it's just a way to, to show people that you have nothing to hide, uh, that you have the courage to return your money. That uh, you're not just standing up for yourself, you're standing up for other people to come to. You're ready to end state in your community. You're ready to, to reach out and have freedom in our lifetime. And uh, so, else from the uh, Liberty Array page, we'll find the uh, Anarchy Assemble page. Um, so, the Anarchy Assemble page, you'll find the other Liberation movements there too. You'll find Liberate Rochester there, you'll find Liberate Rally there, you'll find Liberate Newcastle, and Liberate uh, MG there too. Right now. And there's a way to connect. So, when you're ready to do this, let me know. Um, I'll add you to the list. You know, that list will continue to grow. But right below that list, we also have the non political support. Uh, this is an anarcho campus movement. You know, we have uh, businesses that actually have values. Now, this is the first time that businesses are actually advocating for values. If you look at um, uh, Starbucks, you know, they're saying if you're, you should be able to get married, regardless of your gender. Yeah? Uh, but you look at the opposite effect. If you look at Chick fil A, you, know, you look at uh, people having consistent values, and you see what happens to that. Uh, <laughs> Alright, but so. All right, I'm going to get on that point real quick because if that issue with Chick-fil-A had nothing to do with uh, freedom of speech. It had nothing to do with freedom of religion. I mean, you can, you can say whatever you want to say. You can, you can be racist, you can be homophobic, you can be sexist. You know, I just don't have to be friends with you. But the moment you, you start lobbying, the moment you start funding these anti hate the moment you start um, pretty much advocating for legislation to prevent people from wanting to be closer, from wanting to get married, and that's where you have the problem. That's where it no longer becomes uh, a freedom of speech issue. That's, right now, that's more, that becomes more of a freedom of association and disassociation. And that's what happened. Right? It's, I mean, you hear in the news, I think last week, that the, uh, the owner said, all right, my bad, you know. Uh, we'll treat everyone equal. We'll stop fun. It's like, I, I'm, I'm sure he'll say whatever he wants to say. You know, I'm not going to buy any, you know, that's, any suck on bullshit that guy has to say. It's, uh, <laughs> I'm more interested to hear what his financial advisors had to say. Now, they're a business, right? They're being socially ostracized all over the country, right? Uh, I'm more interested to see uh, what, what, what they have to say about that. Uh, and to say that, uh, oh no, because he had to change the parts, or you know, some politician in the end comes in to, to take the credit away from, from, from the thousands of people out there that just started to exercise their free market association, to ostracize them. That's, that's, that's what happened. Uh, you know, it didn't. Uh, it, it wasn't a politician, it wasn't a law, it wasn't a mayor out there trying to say, I'll get rid of Chick fil A. You know, that's, that's kind of that's the best, best way to prevent bigotry um, from being invited in our own community. You know, it's, if we have a community united with shared values for equality, for nonviolence, you know, you're more than welcome to come in, but you're going to go bankrupt in a week. You know, it's, uh, no one's going to eat there. No one's going to patronize the business. No, they'll go somewhere else and know the business that have families, that have um, integrity in that. And that they advocate for for our minds, that advocate for the problem. That's, that's what I would patronize. That's what I would you know, give my money to. So it, it has nothing to do with religion. It has nothing to do uh, with any of that. You know, personally, I, will, I'll, I defend anyone's uh, you know, right to believe in whatever they want to believe. Granted, the person doesn't cross the non-aggression principle. Now, if you're not forcing your use of other people, and let's let's get rid of force of the violence we to each other. Get rid of the system. Get rid of the idea that violence is a way to solve problems. You know, you have to just talk to people about the religion, persuade people. You know, if it's a good idea. You know, you don't need to make it manager. You don't need to force them. Everyone's money, and 
and their and, and, and their schools and, and their books. But I'm not just talking about religion, I'm just talking about any idea in general. So, I mean, my mom's Christian, so it's not, uh, it has nothing to do with uh, religion whatsoever. So, I uh, got a little off topic there. Uh, but, so, so the last thing I just wanted to comment on that is that, because uh, that's, that's, that's where the market is going right now. Businesses are finally seeing that. Um, having values is uh, becoming a large part of consumerism. You know, that's that's what people are looking for now, and we want to let's continue. Let's continue that question. Let's continue to ask local businesses, "Hey, what, where do you stand on these issues? You know, what, what are your values?" You know, um, <laughs> because for them to say it's like, uh, oh, you know, um, I don't know. It's like I mean, you kind of have to have a stance on some things. You know, it's uh, when we start with rape. Now, I've never heard one person justify rape. I've never heard someone say rape is good, you know, given this peace for that, you know. Um, I guess we can kind of universally agree that rape is a uh, wrong and moral and a disgusting act that you can do to another person. Um, I mean, what are your stance on beating children, right? On violence. Right? Oh, we don't have violence. Is that what you're trying to say? You're trying to say that, uh, oh, we're kind of agnostic, we're in the middle of the fence, we don't want to get any violence, that you lack violence? That you can't commit, you can't say that you actually have values as a business. Um, you know, it's, that's that's pretty much where the market is going now. You know, when you push these values forward, they'll never go back. I mean, this this movement is all about pushing those values out there. Um, and uh, a great way to do it, a great way a lot of people do is to have a business. So that's that's why we have uh, supporters on there. The the only supporters though that can be a part of it are non political organizations. Um, so that excludes, sorry, the returning parties. I mean, that's still, uh, that's still politics. That's still statism. I mean, there's no exceptions. Um, and it includes um, businesses that support Ron Paul or politicians or any kind of taxes or laws or anything. It's got to be completely non-political um, and independent, right? Um, so that's that's pretty much the the standard. For that. I mean, anarchism is not a political position. No more than atheism is a religious belief. So we have to be committed to that. We have to go all the way and make no exceptions. You know, you let one exception for one business, for one organization, everyone else is going to be asking for an exception. You know, it's, we're going to have to draw that moral line again. We're going to have to stand your guard, stand behind that line. Um, but you'll see, you won't be alone then. You'll find other people's voice start, you know, so you know, I. I agree with you too. You know, I'm going to stand up with you too. Um, and you mentioned that's when, when you push these values forward, you know, they never go back. When you show people the matrix, you can't plug yourself back in, right? You can't uh, forget what you've seen, what you know, what you know. And once you see status of what it really is, once you see the matrix for what it really is, you really can't, you really can't go back. You know, um, even cipher the matrix has to uh, has to really forget about everything. He really has to forget about everything that he knows, you know, create new memories. Um, I don't know where we are with technology, you know, maybe a concussion or something like that, but all right, we're back. All right, so the next thing we'll talk about is the Anarchy Garden. Uh, so, Anarchy Gardens are, uh, is, this, is this a freedom center? Is this, uh, is a, this is a place um, to gather, right? to have your freedom gathers, to uh, again, when, when you talk to people about anarchism, when you start introducing these ideas, when you start planting these seeds, um, you know, you're not trying to convince them right away. You, know, uh, you, you want to bring them to another place, you know, to, to continue the talk, you want to continue the conversation, you know, say, hey, uh, again, let's go on through for lunch, you know, have, um, we're having a meeting, you know, we're having a freedom meal. You know, um, the way we do it here with Liberty or we have a potluck. You know, we, we share, we share philosophy, we share food, we share wine, and that sort of, uh, that sort of way, and um, we have our freedom discussion, we have our philosophical discussion. That's, that's where uh, pretty much we, we start learning about what the free market is about, what the non aggression principle is about, what the tenets of uh, anarchism you know, and the, uh, the principles of, um, of freedom. Uh, it's, we, 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 that's, that's, uh, that's pretty much where you want to get people to go to. When you have this conversation, you know, you have flyers, print out flyers, pass it out after you have a conversation. 
conversation. So, hey, listen, two weeks from now, we're gonna have a freedom gathering. You know, it's to come. You know, we're we're gonna um, we're gonna talk about this stuff. We're gonna talk about these issues. We're gonna try to share ideas to find ways to to get to that better place. And then we have an after party here, so more to kind of ease attention from like the serious discussions that we do have. Like we had a bomb in the brain, uh, bomb in the brain, uh, had a, uh, I think a month or two ago. So the next one uh, that we're having actually this Saturday is more of an introduction to deliver our day to teacher anarchism. Uh, the one uh, in November, November 3rd on a Saturday, that's going to be a free market uh, center focused uh, freedom gap. Oh, and of course in October, the, the Freedom Gatherings is going to be at, at the Zine Fest. Uh, the Zine Fest is uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. A lot of our local organizations are going to be there. Uh, we have a table there. We're going to have a workshop. We're going to be there pretty much every day. I mean, not every day, I mean the entire day. We're going to have uh, you know, our, our zines. You know, if you have zines you want to submit to us, you know, send it to our to our Anarchy Garden. And Anarchy Garden, again, is this, is this really just a place to, to have these conversations? You know, a place to, to start talking? You know, um, you know, it doesn't have to be at a park. You know, it doesn't have to be uh, on the streets. You know, there, this freedom movement can take place anywhere. You know, uh, at a sidewalk, at a cafe, uh, in the privacy of your own home. You know, the state can never stop you and I just from simply talking to one another, especially in the privacy <laughs> of our homes, right? Um, and that's why this movement is against all violence. You know, this. There's, there's no smash the state, there's no bomb plus, there's no threats, there's no kill cops, there's no, um, you know, soldiers must die, there's just none of that. There's no advocation for any violence. Um, you know, and, and, but aside from that, anything goes, right? Um, we kind of have to, if we're going to say we're against violence, we have to also not advocate against anyone. Right? We just have to realize it's just that they just don't understand. They're just misled. I mean, they were born into the matrix like the world war. So, I mean, if you, if you do it that way, if you, if you attack people directly, you, you lose them. And you put them in the corner, they'll hold on to their beliefs and, like, attract animals. Like, of course, they'll never come to them. Of course, they'll, you know, they'll, they'll want nothing else to give you. You know, it's, you've lost them. You've lost another person you could have helped free. You know, you could have helped show the nature. You could have helped introduce to animals. This movement is not about mocking people or insulting people or uh, threatening people. Uh, it's, it's against all of that. Now we have, we have to we have to live by those principles. You know, it's it's not a uh, don't look at it so much as us versus them. It's more I mean the battle is in the minds. You know, that's that's where the where the fight is. You know, it's, it's a fight for ideas. It's a it's a fight for ideology. It's for, for philosophy. For for freedom. You, know, you can't show them the state. You know, the state of Lakes is here. So don't so what I'm trying to say is just don't uh, don't say uh, hey you know you're you're a fucking idiot because you don't you don't get it. You know, don't there, there's no need for that. You know, if anything if someone of course after a while uh, they don't they wanna they still wanna continue to troll, it's just, it's just tell them, hey, go plug yourself back into the matrix. It was, uh, you know, if you have more questions we can talk to you, but there's, there's more people out there I need to talk to, or right? I don't need to convince you. You know, you have to remember that. They have to, you know, they have to remind them. Like, I'm not really here to convince. I'm just here to to begin a dialogue, right? Um, to start coming again, planting the seeds. And the real dialogue is going to happen at the freedom gathering. You know, or maybe later or at uh, for lunch if you're on the or something like that. So, uh, so yeah, uh, the. Zine that's for next month. If uh, we have zines you want to submit to us, well, we're gonna we have a table. So send it to Maplewood Anarchy Garden, um, 1809 Maplewood Avenue, City of Richmond, State of Virginia. Zip code is 23220. And you know, for as many you want us to pass out, uh, if you want to sell them, uh, put it in a self-return uh, envelope, you know, so I can mail you back the money. Uh, you no, know, and uh, I don't know. That's, that's about it. I mean, zines can be about anything and everything you can imagine. There's no really standard for that. It could be informative, it could be uh, rated R, it could be, uh, it could be a comic, it could be anything, poetry, you know, it's whatever you want it to be. You know, send it to us. Send by Monday, uh, so we can definitely have it ready by next Saturday. This is going to be on October 6th, October 6th.
that's uh, so that's going to be our freedom guide. Because the next week, the following week after that, I'm I'm going to Libertopia. I'm going to uh, I'm going to San Diego. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to. Uh, uh, this is going to be this is going to be a lot of fun over there. I already bought my ticket uh, yesterday, I believe. So that's it. Yeah, I just already bought my ticket, so I'm, I'm, I'm booked already. So if you guys are if somebody out there is listening to this and you're in San Diego, let me know. Let's 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 run it. Let's get together. Um, Let's share ideas, you know, let's uh, philosophize. And, and again, that's why um, we're, not, we're not protesters. We're, we're freedom activists. You know, protesting implies concessions, it implies um, compromises and deals. And there's no compromises when it's freedom. There's no deals, you know, to, to violence. There's no exceptions to violence. Um, you know, we, we don't want one freedom. We want all our freedoms. Now, we don't want to repeal one tax, we want to repeal all taxes. You know, we don't want just to minimize violence, we want to end all violence. Right? There's, there's, there's no deals for this. Now, we, we want the freedoms that we're, that we're born with, that were rightfully ours to begin with. Uh, and, and that's why, um, in the same spirit of um, <laughs> mocking people, insulting people, you know, again, if you want to bring signs out there that mocks and go for it, I'm going to tell you, it's not going to work. Um, <laughs> it's, it's just going to push people back to the corner. I mean, if that's what you're trying to do, congratulations. You know, that's, that's, that, that'll do it. Um, that's why, uh, I mean, we're, we're demonstrators, right? I mean, life is a demonstration. You know, what you wear, how you carry yourself, that's a demonstration. You know, life is a demonstration, so, I mean, what would we do or just demonstrate it? You know, um, we stand, uh, and I stand at, at uh, the conference at BCU because I'm a demonstrator, right? Um, but I'm not out there chanting, I'm not out there yelling, I'm not, uh, you know, insulting or anything like that. It's just, this is sign. You just want to invite people to you. That's all you're trying to do. Invite the question, right? And you can take it from there. At least you have people at a state of curiosity, right? And people asking questions out of curiosity instead of out of fear, right? Instead of out of anger. That's not where you want uh, the dialogue to go to. And so uh, I feel there's, uh, I don't know, I feel like in the environment, uh, the atmosphere, all of that is important. The way that we can convey these messages to, to our fellow human beings. And yeah, so location, location is important. Uh, location will be, I mean, so the reason I choose to be to use because to be honest, I, I really feel it's going to be the young generation that changes the older generation. It's going to be a student revolution. It's, I mean, a philosophical and cultural and nonviolent, but a student revolution. I mean, that's, uh, you're having people who are just coming out of, uh, you know, he's 18, you know, kind of rebelling already, uh, and not already hooked up to the IV uh, systems of, uh, of government. You know, you have um, people not already jaded, you know, well into their 40s or it's a success to stay because that's the way it's always going to be. Um, you know, we, there's still some fun. I'm not saying, I'm not trying to generalize that the older gener generation, the older people don't get or anything like that. I'm not trying to say that at all. I'm just trying to say that in the end, it's really going to be the sons and daughters that's going to convince the mothers and fathers. Right? It's, that's where it's going to be most effective to turn to your father and say, listen, would, would you force your ideas on me? You know, would you take my money uh, to fund your ideas? You know, could you point that gun? Don't be a coward. Don't pass that gun off to a politician who passes it off to a police. You know, don't don't advocate for someone else to do the violence for you. you know, if you're going to do it, have the guts. You know, point it at my face. Tell me that you'll do it. You know, because I never do that to you. Um, it's going to be it's going to be the, the children, right? the children of anarchy that's going to overturn uh, the older generations. Um, so, but with that in mind, that's why I. I Honestly, I don't really advocate for uh, creating a, a university club, you know, for, for the movie. Just because that will kind of kind of alienate other people. Because they'll feel like, well, you know, it's a, it's a student club. You know, I'm not a student, and you know, I guess I can't really be a part of it. You know, people are, you know, especially the older ones, like, hey, it's a college thing. I didn't go to college. I you know, and then of course you you kind of give the university a little bit of control over your organization. You know, you have to have a certain GPA. You have to buy by these standards, and it's just. Just don't, you, you just don't need it. You, 
you don't need to go through this. You may just have your own deliberate movement, and anyone can be a part of it. Yeah? It takes place on campus, right? But, uh, but anyone can be a part of it, right? Um, I mean, that's, that's the starting point, and it will radiate on this. So that's uh, so. I guess for me, that's that's why I start. Uh, why I do this with the compass. Uh, I mean, there's there's a moral. I guess uh, it looks like a moral compass. Get more in directions that are kind of fitting and kind of like uh, again bring you back uh, like the forums of old. You know, the people used to go out there and bless us. People used to go out there and deposit us and, and talk about these pictures, talk about ideas, um, songs. I don't think people would do that much anymore. I feel like the most perfect people have forgotten how to communicate with each other. And that's why this movement is, has an emphasis on talking. Like talking about, really talking to each other. Um, help exercise, I guess, uh, language again. You know, the first rule of liberty already is to talk about freedom. The second rule is to talk about freedom. And that's it. That's really all you have to do. It's no, uh, again, the battle is in here. That's that's where you're trying to to change. You know, I mean, you can't really change other people's minds in that way. They can only do it themselves. But we can show them the options. Right? We can show them the alternatives. We can show them to guide them. You know, use the Socratic method. I guess that's what the three questions that I ask people are. So I guess it is a form of Socratic method, but it's um, for me it works. Um, some people have seen the matrix like in one day and say, like, "Fuck, you're right." And they're an anarchist in the first day. Or, Later that week or a month, you know, on average it takes it can take like a month to uh, I mean a day to a week to a month. It has, doesn't really have to take years. Um, it doesn't have to take that long. You don't have to wait until you know when they're a Republican or a Democrat to finally become a libertarian. An extra ten years and then plus two more years, right? The difference between a manifest and an anarchist. You know, it doesn't have to take that. It doesn't have to take that long. It only takes a month because because most people I feel are are focused on. Uh, Getting those merit badges of arrests, you know, and antagonizing cops, and that's you're not going to change anything. Um, the cops are the last people you want to change. You know, they're the last people you need to lost. I mean, they'll be a part of this. I'm mean, not saying all of them, but in the end, they'll, they'll realize what the fuck they're doing. It's like, fuck, you know, they're part of the RBA. My wife is part of the RBA. My son's my daughter. Like, what the fuck are you doing? And they'll come to that for their own terms. They'll see that. In but right now, it's just I will focus with other students. I will focus with. Um, yeah, the other uh, scholarly academics, I guess. Um, that's, that's why, that's where I am. I know I'm not saying you have to do it there. I mean, like again, this is, uh, think of it like, as uh, an anarcho-capitalist competition, you know? The best method win, you know, with the uh, first uh, liberation group, you know, free their uh, community win. So, uh, and let's share these ideas, you know. That let's continue to have these video conference calls and share tactics and strategies and ways to, to spread this message, different ways to, to convey this message, um, refine the mental health. And yeah, I guess that's about it. Um, and don't forget, the next uh, Freedom Mod is uh, Philosopher's Day. That's the second one of October, I think. Um, I'm still trying to figure out what prize I'm going to do. I'm probably going to give out one of my Christosky books. I don't know about the crime and punishment, that's my favorite. I don't know, I'll figure it out. I'll make an announcement soon. But, yeah, it's... it's so, oh yeah, and, and so the Freedom Holidays are really about, um, again, appropriating status holidays, right? I think much in the same way that Christianity appropriated a lot of pagan holidays, we're just appropriating status holidays. Um, we're just, uh, I mean, it's just a word, it's just a name. You know, it only has this, you know, we, words alone don't have meaning, you know? But we give meaning to words, so. Just, we're just appropriating those holidays, uh, appropriating Christopher Columbus Day, the day of genocide and murder and <laughs> rape and enslavement, and um, pretty much all of the bad ones. But so, doing away with that and having a, a new holiday for ourselves, you know, but in a year, and then we'll have our own freedom calendar. And uh, and you look at that, look at that as a way to, to connect with other people, you know. Um, Put out a message out there and say, hey, is anyone else from, from my community? Hey, let's, uh, let's meet up. You know, that's another way for, for everyone to start getting connected. That's another way to start reaching out to each other, to start forming your, uh, your anarchy team, you know, your, your superhero team. Um, so, so use, use these uh, 
use, use these networks. Um, start, uh, start uniting, start finding other people. Start um, en encourage them to talk to other people. And that's the only way this is gonna happen. It's um, kind of like that movie Paid Forward, you know? Um, See, you, every person who talks to brings in like one person uh, to the next freedom gathering a month, you know, and now we'll accumulate. You know, and every month you just bring in one more person. Um, and that's that's the that's, that's the only way it's gonna work, that's the only way it's gonna happen. I'm talking about spreading this message, um, inviting curiosity. Oh, one last thing, I want to thank uh, John Garza for uh, the sponsorship at the uh, Libertopia. He's, He's sponsoring my event pass, so I just wanted to make a quick shout out for that. Thank you so much. Um, this is going to be so much fun. I'm going to have a blast. Um, of course, like uh, Joseph Campbell, uh, of course, I'm going to learn as much as I can out there. I'm going to bring back that boon and share that with my community here in Richmond. And I guess that's about it. So, yeah. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. Thank you for uh, you know for listening. And uh, well, this is your friendly neighborhood anarchist from Richmond signing off. I'll see you at the video.